year. Peace, everybody. I'm Skates. Happy New Year and all that. Um, I haven't been making videos because I'm not about to be Mr. Recycle Everybody Else's Content because that's high key biting and that's a problem with the community. But when people ask me to articulate something that they don't understand or how it is that they can go about doing something, if it's easier for me to do a video than to point them in the direction of a video of somebody who's already doing it, then uh, me explaining it myself, then I'll just do that. Otherwise, I'll be making a video on it. Um, but yeah, I'm not about to be recycling anybody else's content. That's already good. That's crazy whack. But um, I had somebody ask me how to use the Complete Control M32 inside of Studio One. And I don't have an M32, uh, but I do have a way of using any kind of keyboard with it. And it's kind of the reason why I didn't buy the M32. I have no reason. I have a Ableton Push. I have the Machine MK3 and I have a regular keyboard. I don't need to spend more money. And the bag, the, the keyboard is an awkward size to find like a, a bag to fit anyway. So, but that's neither here or there. So the first thing you want to do is bring machine into studio one Hit the group tab, um, click this cogwheel, go to input, change the key mode to drum kit, right? Then you can load any one of your drum kits. Right. And then what it does, it lays out the keys from C2 all the way to D sharp three on your keyboard. So. With that said, only thing you pretty much got to do from there is make sure your quantize is on. I'm sorry, not your quantize, but make sure your count is on. Make sure the metronome is on and then you can record the rec end. So you can see all of that recorded directly in. And I'll hit all uh, control A to select all Q to quantize from there. It's like, all right, well, I got all of these MIDI notes um, on one channel. How do I separate the, the MIDI? Very easy. Right click this and you want to go to explode pitches to tracks, but it's not going to be there. It will actually be under instrument parts. Uh, explode pitches to tracks right and then now that I have that let's say you wanted to then um, convert all of this to audio for some strange reason um, like machine is about to blow your computer up because you don't have that strong of a computer like my computer likes to act like it's not that strong of a computer I need to get that looked at neither here nor there um, you select all of the tracks right click transform to audio track uh, if you have any type of effects on, um, what this will do, if you render the, uh, inserts, it'll keep all of your effects on the audio track, um, preserve instrument track state. You definitely want to do that support retransformation to instrument track. That's self-explanatory. Don't remove the track unless you are okay with the track being removed. Um, and then you can hit okay. Now, the benefit of this is over uh, Ableton is when you freeze and flatten a track, there's no way to undo that unless you undo it immediately, like right then and there in that split second. Um, you can't continue on and then go back and unfreeze, unflatten. But in Studio One, when you transform a track to uh, audio, you can always transform it back to MIDI. So let's say like you play a wrong note for some strange reason. Um, and you didn't like the way something sounded or you ended up playing one note out of key and didn't catch it until the last minute for some reason. You can always go back and convert all of these back to um, MIDI instrument tracks. So now you got the MIDI back, which is a fire reason to mess with Studio One if y'all don't mess with Studio One already, right? Okay, so I just converted those all back to audio. And I'm going to pack this folder just to get it out the way and I'll mute it as well. So then you got questions of, all right, well, that's cool. But when I do that, how do I like play my instruments or how do I do my 808s, different things like that? How do I make my 808 or not my 808, my hi-hat uh, pitches and my rolls and different things like that? And to that, I say use the older template, but still just select the tracks uh, to receive the input from your keyboard. And you do that by doing this. So I will bring machine in. If you watched the entirety of my last video, you've seen how I made this template. So you just select this. If you followed it to a T. 
exit out of that. I'm going to hit T. I'm going to make 15 instrument tracks. I'm going to call it machine. It's going to receive input from the second instance of machine that I have, which in studio one will be called machine two, two. Um, you want to make sure that ascending is checked. Machine two, two, choose channel one for the output and for the input, make sure ascending is on for that as well. And then you can just drag this into there, right? And then the last thing you got to do, select that. That's for side chaining. This is for the output. So you just click all of these. And I wish that this was saved in the template, but for whatever reason, it does not, which is whack, but that's nothing that an update can't fix. Right? And then we'll choose same corny kit. So the hi-hats are on three. So we'll make a pattern on three. Bang. And I don't need that far out. And the piano roll in Studio One is fire. So I'll just do this. I have keyboard shortcuts set up for everything in Studio One. Uh, control four to set the grid to eighth notes. And then I have one to split at the grid. Shout out to CMP because he is the goat goat for real, for real. And then if you want to do your rolls, I'll... take this down and then set this to 16th note, actually 32 note. Same thing with 808s. I think it's an 808 already on five, if I'm not mistaken. There is corny 808, but. And then you can pitch these up or down, however you want. This is a terrible example, but it's just to show you the functionality. Um, if you want to do your glides, you still can as well. You just go to uh, make sure that this is on sound. Under polyphony, you set this to legato. Turn the glide up. Uh, what did I just do? Turn the glide up. I normally put it on like five. <laughs> this is so cringeworthy, but... So there you go. Um, you can do the same exact thing with your melodies. So I don't know. I don't know if there's an instrument in here, but it works the same. If you if you can figure out how to do this with the 808s, you can see that it works the same exact way with melody. So if you do all of your instruments or you pull them up inside a machine while you're working, you can do your instruments as well this way. Um, you do your drums the other way. You got it. And then you can bounce all of that out and you should be good from there. So this was a quick video on how to use not only the Complete Control M32, but any kind of keyboard that you want inside of um, Machine, inside of Studio One. Um, it's, it's very, very simple to work with. There's not a whole lot of hangups or things you got to think about. Like they got it down pat. And that's the reason why I now use Studio One more than I use just about anything else. I still will be making videos on how to do things in Ableton because there's still other things that I love about Ableton that aren't available in Studio One and vice versa. Uh, but just wanted to come on here and help somebody out. Again, my name is Skates. If y'all got any other questions on how to do anything, ask, I'll make a video on it. Like, share, subscribe, do all of that. Peace uh, and be blessed.